on this episode of People vs. Paranormal. Is there anybody that wants to come through and communicate? Did you feel that? Yeah, I did. What was that? Tonight's investigation, the Cyprian Keys Golf Club in West Boylston, Massachusetts. In 1718, an early settler named Thomas Keyes bought some land in the north precinct of Shrewsbury. His son Cyprian built a home on this land in 1734 and named it Spring Garden. Not only was Cyprian Keyes one of the first settlers of Boylston, but he was also a deacon of the Congregational Church. First impressions? Uh, I was saying, look at the lights, yeah. Room, which was my, my happy place. <laughs> oh, cool. Actually, um, it was disassembled from a English tutor over in England and rebuilt here. That's, that's the only original part of the original building that was here. Like, this is the original one before. Yeah, it is. Um, and this is the 70s. Last time we did something down here, we got responses down here too. Oh, yeah? Yeah, oh, absolutely. In 1802, Cyprian died at the age of 95, and the land went through many hands until it was finally purchased by George Barton and his wife Elizabeth Lincoln. They named the land Barlin Acres and made many additions to the home, including a music room which was added in 1939. The music room was originally built in 19th century England. It was disassembled then reassembled as part of the mansion. When the land for the golf club was purchased from the diocese, the Barland Acres Mansion still existed. Unfortunately, the only portion of the original house that could be saved was the music room. However, the original flooring from the Cyprian Keys home was used in the 1734 foyer of the new clubhouse, which connects the Spring Garden Ballroom and the Hall of Fame room. Also, the front entry from the Barland Acres Mansion now graces the entry between the ballroom and the 1734 foyer. Um, my grandfather worked for him. My father worked for him. Wow. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. And um, my mother told me stories that my grandfather used to come here and shovel his walks for him. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's crazy too how I end up here. Um, he was the nicest man in the world. My, uh, my grandfather um, was diagnosed with uh, prostate cancer. He took care of him until the day he died. Wow. And I took care of my father, too. And I can remember the Christmas parties this guy would give, and it were crazy. I was oh, little, wow. but I can remember them. Wow. So he was a really, really good man. We know that there's 
I think that there's a girl maybe, I would say maybe 18 or 19, mm. that's here. Um, the last time Lauren came in and did an investigation, they picked up a full family that was down in the music room, residual, just Amazing. hanging out in front of the fireplace. Uh -huh. um, she also picked up um, a cook that was in the kitchen. Maybe it, she was here when the original building was here, or when she was here with child, uh, child's bottom was here. She didn't like anybody in her kitchen. Mm. And people get burned in there frequently. Wow. Yeah. Um, I mean, there's stuff that happens. There's um, remnants of an old hunting cabin out on the course, too. I wouldn't recommend going out there tonight because it's so foggy, but um, they were seeing you know, shadows out of the corners of their eye and something was thrown at them from the woods when they were out there, too. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, we were nice. in the middle of summer, so it was a little bit weird. Yeah. Well, if we set up back here, we get all the chairs in view. We set up in front, we're going to miss some of them, I think. Yeah. Here we are. We got Mr. Sam doing base readings of the whole compound. I'm setting up tripods. <laughs> so we're getting busy here. Um, Here we are. Time to get real. Rock you like a <laughs> Pokemon. Okay, Here we go up into the dark. I can't see. <laughs> we probably should have told everyone we're going to start investigating. <laughs> we just kind of like. Just say hello. Couldn't tell. Didn't know that Is there anybody that wants to come through and communicate? Did you feel that? Yeah, I did. What was that? Is there anybody that wants to come through and communicate? Did you feel that? Yeah, I did. What was that? Is there anybody that wants to come through and communicate? Did you feel that? Yeah, I did. What was that? You heard it too, right? The yeah. loud bang? Yeah, and the light lit up. Yeah. You say idiot? Yeah. You <laughs> <laughs> did. Can you hear me? Is that maybe it? Yeah. This we is... can hear you if this is uh, somebody. Is Cyprian here? No. Let's say nah. It's so, it's not like Chris no. Is there anybody here who'd like to come through and talk to us? Hello. Hello. Said hello. Can you tell us your name? It's consistently been a woman's voice. Are you the chef in the kitchen? Oh, yeah. I have a weird tingling in my toe, like someone's tickling it. There's that bang again. That may be the door. <laughs> he said no. What door? Into the... The main room. That goes into the banquet room. And then... Oh, maybe. Are you the chef who doesn't like men in her kitchen? Ow. 
use to work here. Can you say anything besides hello? <laughs> now they're just mocking. <laughs> I swear. Are you upset because I'm not dressed up? Sounds good. Hey, by the way, did you guys close the door at all? Nope. Did you guys Ooh. hear any bangs at mm -hmm. all? Where is Bouts, do you think? What? Whereabouts do you think it could have been the bathroom one? All we heard was just the bang Where were upstairs. You? Upstairs? Uh, keys room. No, you didn't hear the bathroom door shut from upstairs. No? Oh. Upstairs? Uh, I believe it was upstairs. I should know because I did work here at some point. Yeah. <laughs> So, but um, I would like to ask you if you want to respond yes to a question. You try to wave your hand like this in front of one of these green lights and try to get it to change the color, either yellow or orange. If there's anybody here, can you make a noise to let us know you're here? There's no reason to be afraid. Can you shut that flashlight off for us again? Thank you. If you're a male spirit, can you turn the flashlight back on? Are you a female spirit? If you are, can you turn the flashlight on now? Sorry. Well, thank you for communicating with us. We appreciate it. We kind of feel that you're here. You can ask, ask a question. I know, you must be too. Um, let's see. I would like to try to figure out your name. Uh, my name's Lauren, and if you heard before, this is Tim. Um, does your name begin with uh, an A? Can you light the flashlight up if your name begins with an A? It's going to take a while. <laughs> so I walked over there, stopped, have a listen. All I could hear was footsteps walking around in there. Really? Yeah. Clear I wonder if that recorder got it. Clear as day, look, you can hear me. Listen. It's gonna go off here. Yeah. Everybody's here. Can you give us your name, please? Uh. Is Siri in here?
We heard you were quite a nice fellow. We would love to have an opportunity to talk to you. Touch with Cyprian for us. You were by yourself, maybe? Can you try? Beatrice? Can you shut it off if your name is Beatrice? No? Okay. How about, can you shut it off so we can ask a question? Thank you. Is your name Bella? Wow. So if your name is Bella, can you shut that off again? Thank you so much. We really appreciate you communicating with us. Is your full name Isabella? Can you light the flashlight up if your full name is Isabella? Hmm. Very bright. Interesting. I have a stepdaughter named Isabella. So is your name Isabella? If it is, can you shut the flashlight off now? Are you a, a little girl, possibly, named Isabella? Are you an older woman? Possibly in her 50s? Okay, I'm gonna ask some age numbers. When I reach your number, can you, tell, can you make the flashlight go on? Are you in your 20s? Well, nice to meet you. My son is here and he's in his 20s. Can you shut the flashlight off again? I'm gonna turn on this device here, which will allow you to come and talk to me. I'd love to hear from anybody that's here, especially anybody that's associated with this part of the building because it is absolutely beautiful.
No need to be nervous. Uh, I mean, no harm whatsoever. Again, I'd just love to hear from you. weird just step through one door the air feels different it's cooler in here it smells totally different it's almost got like that uh like hotel smell and you know, it's just like a weird energy Okay, I'm gonna go and move to another area of the place now. If maybe you wanna follow me around a little bit, that's fine too. Kind of, uh, you know, feel me out if you'd like. You don't have to come talk right away. We'd love to hear from somebody. How's it been? Anything else? No, I'm on my way up now. Motion light's probably gonna. Yeah. It's not gonna take no. Where are you? Oh, there you go. Okay, I see it. What, uh, dude? What? This place is huge. What is it? I don't know. I'm wicked dizzy in here, too. What? Are those... Dude, where are, these are we? Are like whiskey barrels, man? I don't even know. <laughs> I'm lost. There's like racks of costumes or clothes. There's like... I can't tell if they're tables or barrels. <laughs> we're over here? Yeah. These are oh, tables. tables. Okay. So storage. Oh, all right. All right. Cool. Um, trap door worries me, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. I have nothing coming through right in here. I wonder where, uh, they are. What's that? It's, yeah, I think it's open here. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah. Debunked. Yeah. I mean, debunked. I don't want to scare them away. Unless they want to prove us otherwise. Yeah. Did you have a child? Because in this room they have a lot of celebrations that celebrate the birth of children. Mm. Please turn it off. Thank you. Thank you. Did you have a little girl? Can you touch the flashlight if you had a little girl? Did you have a little boy, maybe? If you had a little boy, can you turn the flashlight on? Did you have no children? Maybe that's the source of the jokes. Mm. So it must be a sore subject. I apologize. It's 
sorry. We weren't trying to, to upset you in any way. We're just trying to find out who you are. Were you living here when the original house was on the property? anybody in here wants to communicate with us there's a flashlight on the table feel free to shut it off If you'd like to communicate with us, you could turn that flashlight on on the table. Can you, can you make it nice and bright? All you have to do is turn it on. Can you tell us your name in that flash in that device there with the red light? You don't need to be afraid of it. That that will just record you and you can say whatever you want to us. We will be very happy that you're communicating with us. Can you shut that light off? ask you a few more questions then my friend Ben and Sam are going to come up here and feel free to communicate with them too they're good people too that just want to know why you're here and find out some information about you so if you want us to leave so our friends can come up can you make that flashlight go on real bright on the thermal? Battery just drained. Did it? Yep. You just saw it was at like 5,000. Mm hmm. All right, so the camera, the camera I just had was draining. I uh, had 5,000 minutes worth of, worth of battery on it, and it just totally dropped down to the flashing mode it does when the battery's draining. So, as I did that, our portal device started picking up voices. So, I had to come grab the secondary camera. Hopefully we can catch it in time. Okay, I need 
intelligent spirits here. Wants to communicate. Where's Isabella? Is she here? Can anybody say anything intelligent to us that we would know for sure that you were here to talk? All right, if you're here, please let us know. devices you can touch you can interact with please do that so we know you're here at this point we no longer get responses on the portal device we tried to communicate for another half hour but received nothing you know what dig, dig in the lock yeah, dude. You want to go for the walk in the woods? Let's go. All right. We also have a recorder next to that flashlight. Feel free to talk into it. There's that little red button there, that red light that's there. Can you uh, go over and tell us your name? And I'm gonna to try to find out what your name is or what, how old you are. If, can you shut it off so I can ask you a question, please? Thank you. Are you a gentleman in your 40s? So I'm gonna ask a series of numbers. When I get to the number that you are at the age, can you turn the flashlight on? Are you 41? 42. If you're 42, can you shut the flashlight off? So if you're 42, can you turn the flashlight on, please? Thank you. So let's see, we are now. So we are being super crazy. Yeah. It's freezing cold out here. Um, oh, maybe for you. We're walking to a hunting cabin in the middle of the woods that's been around for like, what, 300 years or so? Something like that. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty dark, pretty cold. Do we hear there's a lot of gang activity out here? So. Yeah, there's the bloods, the crips. But I'm a red there. Really cannot see anything. Were you Here. paying attention to uh, the directions? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> so down the hill, over the bridge. Something about a snack shack. Uh, yeah. She said snack shack, and I started picturing the snacks. So yeah, I was like, damn. This is like one of those horror movie things. Yeah. Okay, we're at crossroads here. It looks like. She said down the hill. Is there a hill in front of us? Scanning the premise for wildlife. All right, so we just, uh, oh, we're... oh, 
So we decided to check with home base to see if this cabin in the woods is actually a cabin or just a, uh, a foundation with the chimney. And it turns out, just a foundation. So we're going back because we're not going in the middle of the woods when it's raining for that bullshit. I ain't messing with this shit. What we want to do, sometimes an entity doesn't have a whole lot of power, so I'm going to put one up top and I'm going to put one on its side. If we can get it to stay where it's not going to have, yeah, I don't know, with wind that's probably going to not work. Oh, the door's moving by itself. <laughs> no, did you see that thing just swing over? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's not, that door does not do that. Wow. Oh, wow. I didn't see it swing open, but I saw it. I oh, saw it move, yeah. yeah. Welcome, if you're here. Can you make that door open up again? Of course, now we're watching you. No. 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 <laughs> oh, did you guys do it? <laughs> I'm like, no. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> Debunked. <laughs> that was them. Yeah. Yeah, it was them. Thanks. The basement is filled with running machines and compressors. We spent hours down here, but the noise contaminated most of our footage. At the end of the night, we head to the quietest part of the basement we can find. Is there anybody down here? Can you tell us your name? You don't want to talk? What's your name? My battery just got drained. I had about five hours left on it. This thing keeps wigging out. Are you draining our batteries? Not really. What did it say? Not really. <laughs> Is there a little boy here? We got Lauren on camera. All right. <laughs> That's going on the website. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <It's okay. laughs> I like your instinct just to drop into a ball. <laughs> Usually I run. <laughs> Did you think that was funny? No. No. Uh, are you mad at him for scaring me? Beat it. Yeah, the 
they do a male and a female? So there's a few children in there too, but I never hear the children voices. Are there any children here? Can you say your name? Mr. Keys, are you here? Yep. What's your name, little boy? Did you like playing with the flashlight upstairs? Is there anything you want to say before we leave? Is it a no? No. Sounds like a little problem. Yeah. Are you being shy? You want some candy, little boy? That is probably the creepiest thing I've ever said. What was that? What about the gentleman? What can we get you? You want a drink? I wonder what's in the barn. What's in the barn? <laughs> what's in the barn? Oh, we should investigate this building right here. The haunted hot dog stand. 